Hello, this is Irish Prepper. Uh, thanks for tuning in again today. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, and uh, I was thinking over the weekend, you know, what what would be what it would be like to be in a, a, a the end of the world as we know it type situation, or a you know shiz hits the fan type situation, or a, even a raw a W R O L situation, which means without rule of law, okay? Um, so some people, <laughs> they always ask me, what, is, what does RAW mean? What does SHTF stand for? What does Teotihuacan mean? Okay, so there, there you go. The end of the world as we know it, shiz hitting the fan, and without rule of law, okay? And there, there's some more, but um, it's late, and I'm not thinking of them too quickly, so. Uh, anyways, but what I came with, up with over the weekend was what could make our lives easier if there was if, if the situation ended up being that we don't have energy anymore we don't have access to uh, electricity and uh, gas and you know things like that and um, you know I mean so basically I came up with off-the-grid machines okay labor saving devices that will save your sanity Okay, um, too many people just assume that their single solution is to generate their own power. Okay, then come what may, you flip a switch and keep living life as usual. Uh, the truth is that even if you do have a sufficient alternate power source available at Teotihuacan, for whatever reason, it may be impractical or unwise to make use of it when the time comes. Um, in that circumstance, Having non-electric alternatives will be crucial. Um, so here are six labor-saving devices that might make the difference between just barely surviving and living. Okay. So number one, a treadle sewing machine. Okay. Clothing is perhaps one of the things that we take most for granted in the modern Western world. We rely not only on a vast array, on a vast array of techno uh, technical machinery, but also a huge a huge pool of low-wage workers to fill our closets. A treadle, or a foot pedal operated sewing machine, was a coveted luxury item just, bef uh, just before the turn of the last century. And I mean the 1800s to the 1900s, not the 1900s to the <laughs> 2000s, okay? Um, so, uh, basically, the reason it was such a, a coveted luxury item um, the time savings when using it were huge and meant more time for other important tasks in the home okay surprisingly these are still around in abundance okay you can find these um, you can you can buy them for as little as 50 bucks in in tons of places okay around the country um, estate sales can be one of your best state uh, best sources to get a used machine for a little money um, look at several ads before purchasing and see what brands are common in your area uh, the more of a uh, single type there are the better uh, as you will need to find non-working or partial machines in order to get cheap or free replacement parts okay um, number two hand crank grain mill uh, whole wheat berries are one of the most versatile and long-lasting food stores for your pantry lasting up to 30 years when stored properly these are a wealth of nutrition however Though the whole berries, raw or toasted, are a yummy snack, you need to have a way to grind them up into meal or grain. Uh, though you are able to find these as antiques, you may want to consider purchasing a new one to ensure the blades are sharp and clean. Um, shop around, okay, and read user reviews in order to get a feel for which meal might give you the best or the most choices of textures in your price range, okay. And if you want uh, really uh, grainy type bread or if you want very fine grained uh, almost uh, white bread okay so um, and that's what I mean by finding you know the best most choices of textures okay uh, s number three a solar oven building a fire takes time and uses precious and consumable resources even in cloudy and cold climates you should get enough sun to at least bake all your bread once a week okay a solar oven will uh, also will not send up a smoke alert to alert passerbys of your presence if your cooking activities need to remain secret, okay, clandestine. 
Uh, you can purchase complete ovens for a couple hundred dollars or experiment with various fashions to make your own. Uh, make sure you have a thermometer so you can see what temperatures you are actually reaching and how long it takes uh, your oven uh, to attain that that heat level. Okay. Uh, number four, tool set. Okay, because electric hand tools are so much faster and easier, many of us find that these are the only tools we have. Okay, a good sharp axe, several saws, hammer, simple farming tools like a potato planter, and a sharpening stone will become critical. Okay, if you don't believe that these are labor-saving devices, try hammering a nail using a rock. Let you chew on that one for a second. <laughs> uh, make sure these tools are well cared for, well cared for, and store in a safe place. They may just save your life one day. Okay. Uh, number five, a hand wringer washer. Laundry is one of the most time-consuming chores, even with a modern washer and dryer. Okay. While you may think that with a wash tub and clothesline, you're all set to launder clean clothes off grid, you may have forgotten the difficult task of squeezing out the water that your washer does for you in the spin cycle. Hand wringers are crank operated, taking a huge job and turning it into just one. Uh, there are full setups with wooden forms to place your wash tubs or small handheld ones that will uh, uh, that will fit in a laundry room cupboard. Okay, again, antique stores and estate sales are good places to find a great deal on these. If you get lucky, uh, you'll find one that is fully functional but doesn't look that pretty. I mean, they were for laundry after all, uh, but being an ugly little thing, you'll find very little competition uh, to purchase it. Okay. Uh, number six, a wine press. I have no idea why I put this down. I don't remember writing this. Uh, if you have all the above covered, you might want to start thinking about the essentials of life uh, beyond the essentials of life to the luxuries. Okay, An item with a wine press not only gives you something enjoyable, uh, but potentially a valuable item for creating commodities that you can trade. I think that's why I wrote that down. Um, a good wine press can be used not only for wine, but juice, cider, and potentially even oil if you are in an area where olives are available. Olives are available. Though you can find these used as antiques, they are typically very rusted and thus not usable for anything other than a decorative piece. Thanks to the growing interest in home brewing, you should be able to find these online and at specialty stores. Again, shop around, read some reviews, and find one that meets your needs. Okay, uh, But you should just use this list to start thinking. Then analyze what your individual needs will be and how to meet them. Visiting estate sales, antique shows, or you know, going through the antique section of Craigslist <laughs> can give you a, tons of ideas. Uh, we must not forget the solutions of our forefathers, or we will be stuck reinventing the wheel and losing valuable time in rebuilding our society, if that's what happens. Okay? When choosing which off-grid machines are the most essential for your family, Think about what parts of your daily life will take you the longest without electricity. Also think about things that you would miss the most, such as ice cream or juice, and consider providing a way to make those things as well. Um, sometimes it is the little things as much as the big ones that are going to make all the difference. Okay, so I hope this video wasn't too long, um, and basically it's just to get you started. Okay, started thinking about what type of uh, situation do you want to be living in. Um, you know, if if a Tia Tawaki situation uh, comes around our way, okay? All right, so this is Irish Prepper. Thanks for tuning in, and you have a nice day.